Today I'm not bringing you any. Hey guys, it's Biking18 here, bringing you not a video game, not a tutorial on a game, but a tutorial on music. For people that don't know, I um, I'm now I'm I'm now homeschooled, but um for my past for the past five years I've played in my school band for Carpenter Middle School and then I played for Clark, um which are uh, Plano schools, um and the instrument that I played I played my clarinet and um I loved the clarinet because when I first started playing music in my elementary school we were given a recorder. And we had to play in a small little band, and we had to do solos, and that's what I love to do. I love to play the recorder. I love to play, you know, this, like, I could remember, like, weekends when I would stay up late with my dad, and we would be playing small songs like Mary Had a Little Lamb, Old MacDonald. Um, and then I got into some really interesting stuff where I would actually start, uh, I can't do it on a clarinet because it, well, because you play on a reed, which I'll talk about that in a minute. Um... It actually, I started actually beatboxing with a recorder, and it sounded really good. Um, I wish I actually still had a recorder to this day. I would play it, but I don't. But if you think about it, a recorder is almost kind of like a clarinet. It has the same, it has the same keys. It has a finger hole in the back, and then it has six keys on the front, and then you have all your side keys for sharps, for flats, and also for some of your hard fingering. Now, in my band, I used to play a lot of different things. Now, I wasn't in the top band, which is like woodwind, but I was in the, um, I was in a beginner, so I was in concert or symphonic, or I was in, um, the, um, I can't remember what our band name was called, because we had different ones. Sorry about my hair, I've been cleaning the house all day, you can see my pantry, my dryers and stuff. But um, I wanted to make this video for you guys because I wanted because I know there's probably kids out there or teenagers that want to do music as a career. And I loved playing my clarinet. I loved playing music. I don't care if I was a geek, band geek. I loved playing music. So for this video, I'm gonna do I'm gonna teach you I'm gonna do the five different um, things of music. I'm gonna show you pretty much three fingerings. For a very simple song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yeah. And you can play it on a different, on a high key, a low key, and a middle key. And I'm going to play probably all three. So guys, I'm going to show you the first five or six different things for a clarinet. So first, what we need to, that I'm going to go and discuss with you guys is what you play a clarinet on. What you can pretty much see is a reed. Now, a reed is a pretty much, you can get them in plastic or wood. If I were you, I would do a wood piece because plastic sounds so bad. Oh my goodness, it sounds disgusting, a very, very bad sound. And I will show you in a minute what a clarinet really does sound like. So you can see that this is a very thin piece of wood. When you're in the beginning, you want to stick it in your mouth like this. And get it moist because that's how the sound is. If you play on a really, if you play on a um on a non hard on a hard reed, you don't get the vibration because there's a vibration that goes between your reed. So after you moist your clarinet um, mouthpiece, you put your ligature on, which a ligature is a metal piece that go on that goes on your clarinet that holds your reed together. That's very tight. That, that way it holds between the barrel piece, the mouthpiece here, and the reed. That way in the middle here, you get that vibration, which would make your sound. So, I'm going to simply play you a G, which is a no finger um, sound. So, here we go. Now, that is a simple G, which is all fingers up. So you have a um, hole here that you would hold like this, like that, if you guys can see. Put your thumb here, and then you have your six fingers. If you've ever played a recorder, it's just like that. And um, that's actually one reason I picked up the clarinet is because I love the sound of it. I love the, um, the fingering with it because when you're playing a really fun piece, you have to use all of these. And so, like, for one of your scales, like... Um, Here's your um, B scale, or your uh, C scale. So 
So you have to use this for your B and then this one for your C. And if you don't get them right, you're going to have a little bit of a problem because of your wrong fingering. So this is what it sounds like if my fingering is wrong. See? If you don't cover all of your holes that needs to be covered, you're going to get that very high, very, 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 very high squeak sound. So, what you must do is you got to make sure you are hovering over your keys. Now, I actually started hovering a year ago, and I've been in, I've been playing music for four years. So, I never really learned hovering, and I was very quick. So, I would play like I'd be playing like this. Let me get up here, that way I can show you. I'd be playing like this. All my hands out, and I would be playing, so if I'd be playing a song like... So sometimes our band director would have us be playing that kind of style. Now, you guys are going to ask, what kind of song is that? That is actually not a song. Our band director, that was the ways that they wanted us to do it, to show how you would actually hover over your clarinet. So if I turn to the side here, I hope you guys can see this, you can see how my, how my fingers are very close together to the, to the holes. You can see here. Now, you do not want to keep your hands on the holes because you're going to be playing a different song or a different tune. So let's say I'm playing um, a G to C. So you have your open hole here, That is not what you want to do. I just kind of showed you a basic no-no. That is the kind of squeak that you get if you do not tighten your hole or tighten the, the seal. So, you've got to make sure because if you don't hover over your keys, that is exactly what your sound will sound like. Let me hover up here, that way you guys get a little bit more of a view. That's a lot better. And let me, now, so, we have gone over a G, which is an open hand, is open. Um, we have done, kind of going backwards here, I've done a C, which is three, one, um, which is one, two, three, and then the back key. And then, I'm going to teach you... Hold on, let me remember what it is. That's right. So I need, so I'm gonna teach you E, D, and then C again. So E is the two fingers here. So you have your thumb on the back and your um first finger on the first hole. That is an E, and this is what an E should sound like. Now, I know exactly how an E sounds like because I've done it for so long. Now, if you are a beginner, go to a music store and get a tuner. Now, a tuner are a little expensive. This one came for me from free uh, because it's actually my guitar tuner. Um, yes, I play the guitar. I'm not very good at it, but I do play an acoustic guitar, which I'll go. If I, you want me to do a video over that, I can. Um, I'm not very good at it. Um, I haven't built up enough calluses on my fingers. Um, the only calluses I've made up are in the middle, right here, for my clarinet. Because if you're playing a song that's uh, three to four measure, uh, three to four pages, you've really got to learn how to put your fingers at the right hole at the right time. If that makes sense. I know in the comments down below, I'm gonna hear so many. That's what she said, but that's exactly what it is. It's you got to put your fingers on the hole. You just have to. So, let's now go over the D. The D is one is in the back, the and then the two in the front, two fingers in the front. Now, if you guys are asking, why do you always have to have your finger on this hole? That, my friends, is a very good question. That is how you this the back thumb is the main finger you would use, except for I believe it's. B, yeah, A, B, and C, yeah. Yeah, you 
always have that hole except for two notes. This one, which is A, and this one, which is a G sharp, or you can call it as A flat. Now, also there's one more which I like to call B flat. Which, if you hear it to yourself, you're like, oh, that's a, not a very good note. That is why you have to put all three fingers down here on the bottom. Now, you're probably like, huh, how do you know which is high, low, and then middle? Well, high would be most of, are mostly these three, and then going up and having your, on the A key. This is a register, this is the uh, register, I believe. Yes. Um, this is your register key, which you get A, B flat, which is both, and then you get your just A yourself. And you can do it for your G if you want to. Now, it sounds very badly. When you're doing high notes like these, yes, I know those are very high notes, you would have to put your thumb at the back hole and the register key at the same time. That, my friends, become a very, very tricky if you do not know what you're doing. That's why I'm bringing these videos to you. Now, I know I've gone over a whole lot, and I know I've gone over a load, but I'm going to teach you a small little song called Mary Had a Little Lamb, which is Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. You got it. Now I'm going to play that song on my clarinet. I'm going to play it medium low, and then high. Please enjoy. That was the medium. This was the low. yourself you're thinking those are very low notes but yes this but yet the song sounds very high that my friends is a very tricky conversation which I actually myself do not know now here's the last this is the third one this is the high note this is the high one <laughs> one that sounds very high and yet it wants to sound very low it's very strange don't ask but if you really want to get into with your family don't really do high don't do low just do e d c c d e da, 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 da. e e e d c let me see like that. If you guys want to know the fingerings of this, then link down below. And if you guys want me to do any more songs, any more different things, um, I actually have gotten two, uh, two books. Let me quickly get them for you. Um, I have one. Um, which uh, I play, which I actually play a very a lot, is uh the praise and worship music, which is like Christian music, like uh, there's one uh blessed be the name, there's um holy is the Lord, there's um, you know, you know um if you listen to a KLTY or um uh, the Family Morning Show that they play a lot of those songs, and then I have I used to play I used to play clarinet. Those have like uh, Silent Night, Amer Amazing Grace. They have a lot of different things. I got these at uh, Music and Art Center. Uh, this book, I believe, was if I can find it, it is 19.95, and then this one I got was 10.99. They might be a little expensive. They a little were for me, but I really enjoy them because they've got two songs in the back of them that have play along. So, I really enjoy it. I really do like it. They have the demos. They have everything you need. Um, also, if you guys want to know where to buy a clarinet, I'm going to tell you this right now. 
they are very, 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 very expensive. Um, I got this because it's a, it's a, um, used to, uh, it's a used to own. It is a used clarinet, but my mom went to, me and my mom went to, um, the, um, uh, music store. We like to go to, uh, music and arts. There's a Williams music store. There's all kinds of different music stores. It depends on where you are. And, um, they wanted one for 12 grand, another for 15 grand, another one for a thousand. So me and my mom, we were like, you know what? We're going to make down payment on used to own. So it's a used clarinet and it's a, um, rent to own. Sorry. You rent the clarinet until you pay it off and then boom, it is yours. So I don't do, so I'm not in school anymore. Well, I am, but I'm in, um, homeschool and I don't, I don't do like a big band. But I am in a band. I'm gonna be in a band with my mom and um, stuff at a uh, music at a uh, group um, here in Plano. But guys, I've been Viking 18. I hope you guys have enjoyed my music tutorial with you guys with the music. I'm gonna be doing another uh, my next one. That's gonna be on a different um, style. It's gonna be talking more into the music, into the uh, the barrel, the um, um, the um, bottom and then into your different keys as you can see here if you guys have any questions please comment subscribe and like i have been viking 18 you have been youtube and i will see you guys later see you guys